Today, I'm in Ennis, Montana. If you like fishing and camping and birds of prey, you're going to love this video. I'm going to give you a tour around Ennis Lake. The first thing I found when I came down Ennis Lake Road is this campground called Meadow Lake Campground. They've got 10 sites and it's completely free. Uh, there is a seven day limit. They've got one pit toilet, but it's right along the lake as you can see. And as I pan over to the right, there's some meadows over here. And I actually found a moose just the other day. Right in that spot right about there. Tons of wildlife, tons of birds. Really, really cool resource. And I'm going to show you a couple of the sites here. I believe this is site number seven. They don't really have numbers. But as you can see, it's not a huge site. But it'll definitely fit a trailer. And you're right on the water with the mountains in the background. Tons of cool stuff to do in the area. I can't wait to show you the rest of this video. And then I'm going to show you this site here. I believe this is site number two. They've got picnic tables. They've got fire pit rings. All right, here's the pit toilet. As you can see, there's no place to pay and seven day stay limit. But anyway, that's called Meadow Lake Campground. Then as you come down the road just a little bit further, maybe a mile, mile and a half, is this Kobayashi Beach Recreation Area. And I'll give you a good view of this with my GoPro right here. You can see the beach, the sand down there on the right. Nice, beautiful lake. If you love birds, you really got to check out this spot. I've never seen so many birds and ducks, birds of prey. It's really, really cool. All right, so that would be the beach that you would probably go to. And I actually found this little guy right at that beach area. Little diving duck. They're so cute. Uh, I've got video coming up of them actually diving into the water. <laughs> I can't get enough of these guys, man. All right, so Ennis Lake Road just kind of goes all the way around the lake. And if you keep on coming down, you see this beautiful little island right here. The uh, eagles like to perch atop that rock right there. So that's really cool. I got video of maybe a, a small bald eagle last week, which was really sweet. Yeah, so this road just kind of winds around. And then you go down just a little bit further and you're going to come across the bridge. And the view from the bridge is this. So beautiful. Totally something you would see on the front of a magazine cover. So then as you come down across that bridge, you can either go to the left or go to the right. If you go to the right, it keeps winding around the lake. If you go to the left, it actually dead ends, but there's a couple of cool spots along that road. So first, let me show you these du diving ducks. Check it out. Bloop. <laughs> Those guys are so cool. And then another one of the same things. But I love their hair, their eyes. So anyway, so anyway, if you go across the bridge and take a left, there's a Trail Creek Trailhead down there. There's also a couple of cool recreation areas and a waterfall. Bloop. <laughs> And a lot of people go down there to go fishing. There's a couple more cool ducks. I'm pretty sure these guys dive as well. They must be catching fish. I don't know what else they'd be catching down there. These guys are so pretty. I couldn't get enough of them. But that road to the left, um, lots of fishermen go down there. Um, there's a boat launch down there. There's a hydroelectric power plant down there. And you can get some really, really cool photos down that way. So I can't wait to show that to you here in just a second. This wildlife footage, you know, I hate to cut it short because it's so beautiful. So sometimes I just let the camera run. Yeah, this lake is such a beautiful resource. I grew up in Michigan where we have tons and tons of lakes. And I just love it. 
Alright, what's up next? I think I got one more cool little Ferrari looking duck. This guy's about to dive down. <laughs> if I was a duck, that's what I'd look like right there. And bloop. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. So here's the waterfall I spoke of. Man, it is so pretty. This, by the way, is the last video I'll be doing with my old Sony Handycam. I bought a new one. I bought the AX43. So hopefully my videos will be improving. It records in 4K. Um, the one I have now records in HD. And if you know anything about pixels and whatnot, 4K is uh, has four times as many pixels. So I should be able to get some really, really clear shots with my new camera. All right, here's the recreation area I was talking about. As you can see, there's a couple of fly fishermen. And um, they just kind of park and wait in the water and go fishing. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Here's one of those views I was talking about. The boat launch down there, I'm not a hundred percent sure what that's all about because as you can see, you can't really run a boat through here. Um, so maybe it's just for small boats to kind of float and fish. I'm not sure. All right, so here it is, the boat launch. Oh, off to the left, there's a footbridge. And this is kind of getting towards the dead end of the road. You can go across that footbridge, and you can hike along the river on the left side there, just so you know that. Most people don't know it. That's what I did, is I hiked down, and I got this footage right here. This is the hydroelectric power plant. But man, that valley and the river and the trees, so pretty. And then as I start to work my way back, here's another cool shot. Yeah, as you can see to the left there, that's where they run the water down, I guess, into the power plant. A little bit of an eyesore, but... I love all the trees. Alright, so... As you, um come out of that dead end area and start continuing down or I guess continue down Ennis Lake Road these are the views that you'll see off to your left just beautiful the lake will be on your right the mountains will be on your left and now I'm about to show you some of these birds of prey that are really really cool I believe this is an osprey right here and he was just uh, th they're fairly common in the area um, some people are completely unimpressed by them, but I think they're beautiful. He's just hanging out, looking for fish. And then if you continue just a little bit further down Ennis Lake Road, I've got another shot for you here really really pretty I believe that's actually a ranch off to the left love the my videos when the sky is blue like that they look so much better and then in this next shot here I don't really know what this is I believe it's I don't think it's big enough to be a golden eagle maybe it's a baby bald eagle it looks like he's got a fish in his talons right there but uh, bald eagles are fairly common in this area. I think this is the guy actually that I saw perched atop that island last week. And uh, it's really hard to tell how big he is because he's, you know, he's way atop that telephone pole there. All right, and then as you continue down the road, more beautiful views. And actually, this is about where Valley Garden Campground is at. I did a video about that just a few days ago. You can look that up if you're interested. It's not a free campground, but it is right on Madison River if you want to do some fishing or whatever. So this is kind of on the way out. You'll just take Ennis Lake Road to Jeffers Road, and then you'll end up meeting back at the highway, which I think is 287. This cool piece of machinery is uh, right there at Jeffers Road and 287. But uh, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time.